Hi guys, welcome back to a little about LV. Today I wanted to pop on really quickly before I head out for my trip and let you know my favorite sunscreens and after sun. So after I did my sunless tanning video, I had a lot of you guys ask me what kind of sunscreens I use and if I ever do get a little bit toasty, what I do in that case, especially since I am fair skinned. So today as someone who spends a lot of time at the beach and in the sun, I just wanted to come on and let you know what my favorites are, what has worked for me because a lot of people do just go to the store and grab whatever sunscreen they come to but that is not how I roll because for me you've got to really think about this stuff like does it break you out does it actually work is it greasy are you gonna have sand caked all over your body there's a lot to think about so if you're interested or if you're someone like me who does spend a lot of time in the sun at the lake at the beach by the pool this is the video for you I am going to show you all of my tried and true sunscreen and after sun favorites Okay, so jumping right in, we are actually leaving on vacation in about five days. So I actually was going through all of my sunscreen to make sure that I had everything that I needed and that's what like kind of promoted me to go ahead and do this video. And so I have my little beach bag up here. This is for all my sunscreens. It says Mermazing. It's really cute. So this is what I actually carry. This is all the stuff that I have in here. Plus I'm gonna show you a few after sun products that I like to use. So let's open this up and jump right in. First of all, let me show you my favorite face products because I know I have showed you this one a couple times before. This is the Differin Oil Control Moisturizer. It's for acne prone skin and it does have SPF 30 in it. So I actually do use this under my makeup pretty much all the time in the summer. But when I'm at the beach, at the lake, by the pool, I am, why, why did I say lake? Like I literally never go to the lake anyways. When I'm in the sun, I'm always wearing this. It never breaks me out. My skin doesn't get super greasy. It's not something that I have to scrub off in the shower before I go out to dinner that night. So this is my all-time fave. You need to pick this up anyways. It's at drugstores all over the place. I think it's about $10. I usually get mine at Target and I actually wear it all the time, not just when I'm in the sun. All right, so if you're like me and you are super into keeping your skin very, very clear and flawless and you're terrified of wrinkles, you might wanna up the ante a little bit with the sunscreen for the face. So I have another option here that I also use very frequently when I'm at the beach. I know I'm gonna be in the sun for a prolonged amount of time and it's very hot, you're sweaty, I'm afraid some of it's gonna come off. This is the Alginist with some kind of acid, I don't know, but it's supposed to be something for wrinkles. It's SPF 50 ultra lightweight UV defense fluid. It's basically like a liquid in there, like very liquidy. You can like hear it in there sloshing around. Um, I got this at Ulta. This is actually an older one because I've had this for a while. They do still have this brand and it's a little bit different. Like the bottle looks a little bit different than this. I'm going to link it down below if I can find it or either on the Algenis website. But this stuff is absolutely fantastic. It's never broken me out. It does last a little bit longer because it's SPF 50 and of course it's a little bit stronger. So if you are worried about the wrinkles, if you're going to be in the sun for a prolonged amount of time or if you have any issues with like dry skin like instead of having super oily skin and you want something with oil control if you have dry skin I would say that this is probably more on your level. It is a little bit more expensive. I think it's like $28 or $30 for this small bottle. I got it on sale at Ulta but again if I can find it on sale if I can find it anywhere I'm going to link it down below for you so you can check this out. All right so that is enough for the face. I will honorable mention the fact that I always put on um, some type of sunscreen on my lips as well. And I usually use these sun bum like SPF 30 uh, chapstick. A lot of people probably don't really think about your lips when you're out in the sun, but for someone like me who has very fair skin and I already have like some lip lines and stuff, I really like to protect my lips and I love the way this smells. That's the coconut scent, but it comes in like a lot of different stuff. All right, so my all time favorite sunscreen ever that I will not go out in the sun without is this this Australian Gold Spray Gel Sunscreen with Instant Bronzer. Now they have different levels. I usually use the 15 to the 30. They have down to like a four or a seven or something crazy like that. I don't like to have to reapply a lot. So I go ahead and do the 30. Of course, I am super fair skinned. Even when I have on self tan, I have to remind myself she's not really tan. She's just fake tan. So I do have to make sure that I have a very good sunscreen and this is fantastic because it instantly 
bronzes you like you squirt this on it is kind of like a little less of a mist it's a squirt and then you have to kind of rub it in so it's definitely not a mist because I hate mist I feel like they're always super sticky and then if the wind is blowing while you're trying to spray it on it's not even getting on you and then you're like sunburnt here and it's white here it's terrible this is more of a spray and then you rub the gel into your skin and you're instantly darker than you were and it has like a little bit of a shimmer to it so you're also like kind of glowing in the sun which brings me to my next favorite sunscreen so my next favorite sunscreen actually just was like in walmart in panama city one year and i was like oh my gosh this sounds fun and i got it and now i use it all the time this is the copper tone glow with shimmer spf 30. again there's a lot of different levels that you can get this in but this is like it's kind of brown it's like a bronzing again but it is like glittery so if you're like me and you like to just be really extra and i want just shine in the light of the sun this stuff is beautiful I get it at Walmart like I said I'm just gonna get this out a little bit for you so you can kind of see I'm gonna like tan my skin but it's like a brownish color and then it is like super if you can see that it's not actually like wet now it's like that's the shimmer that's on your skin so this is really really pretty it actually smells really good too. It's not like the typical sunscreen smell. It smells really good. So these are my absolute two favorite sunscreens of all time. Take it from someone who is in the sun a lot, terrified of wrinkles, but I gotta keep out there, you know? I love these products. They are tried and true. I have not been burnt when I apply these regularly. So if you have a problem with that, if you have very fair skin, or if you just wanna use something that's more protective to protect you from the wrinkles, I highly recommend these. Uh, something else I never travel without and I really wasn't even going to mention it but I already have the bottle up here because it was in the bag is like if I ever do get too much sun or I get burnt like I fall asleep in the sun or something like that and I forget to reapply um, this is my favorite just like grab the biggest bottle with the highest SPF that you can and wear it all the time brand this is the no ad brand it comes in like all different kinds of I have a bunch of them actually and I just brought them all up here but this is my favorite for just putting it on when you're really Really try not to get any sun at all and you don't want to be fabulous like the other two will make you fabulous this is just all around honorable mention but this is my favorite brand for that all right so let's talk about one more thing in the way of sunscreen before I get into after suns really quickly if you have tattoos this next part is for us okay so as I'm sure you know if you have tattoos and you love them you want to keep them as dark and vibrant as possible if they're colored or if they're just black and white. Like you wanna keep them as vibrant as possible and being in the sun definitely deteriorates the color and it can kind of make them more of a gray scale or kind of diminish the vibrancy of the color. So that being said, a lot of times a regular sunscreen is just not enough. I like to cover my tattoos specifically with this Australian gold tattoo stick. I usually get these off Amazon and this stuff smells phenomenal by the way. Like I love how this stuff smells. It always reminds me of the beach when I smell it. By the way, there is sand all over my table. Like it's all in the bag. Every time I take something out, more sand spills out and I'm just having the best time, honestly. Anyways, I love this tattoo stick. I have actually fallen asleep in the sun, like laying on my stomach. I have a tattoo on my lower back and I had this like as a streak across it. And when I woke up, like I was obviously burnt on my back and I shouldn't have been, I know that I shouldn't have been, but I was obviously burnt on my back and I had this completely white strip right over my tattoo. So this stuff is super intense. It's SPF 50 plus. So I usually just reapply this. Like when I get back out of the water, I'll dry off and like reapply it. I just literally one stripe over this tattoo here, right here, and then on my leg and back. I cannot say enough about this. If you have tattoos and you want to preserve them at all, the Australian Gold Tattoo Stick is my absolute favorite for that. You do not need to live without it if you have tattoos. All right, so last but not least, let's talk about after sun. And this is obviously not just for when you have gotten actually sunburned. I use aloe and stuff for that, of course. This is also for when you're just trying to extend the life of your tan. So my number one product for if I do get too much sun and I'm terrified that I'm going to peel because I get very red and I peel very, very easily. I have never peeled with this product and that is the Sun Bum Cool Down Lotion. Not to be mistaken for the Sun Bum Cool Down Spray. That stuff does not work. It's terrible. 
The cool down lotion is the best product that I've ever used for someone that has very, very fair skin when I have gotten too much sun. I have literally never peeled using this. I don't know what's in this stuff. I don't know what the deal is, but I used to peel every single time I burnt because that's just how my skin is. Since I started using this, I have never burned and peeled ever. It smells heavenly. It's that sun bum smell. If you've ever smelled any of their products, you know what I'm talking about. Like it's perfect to wear out to dinner. You kind of smell beachy anyways. So put this on after you shower. You are not going to peel. I'm telling you, I never have. I've gotten so many people to buy this by telling them that. And every single one of them were like, I'm never using anything else ever again. So that is my all time fave. However, I did want to honorable mention the ocean potion, as you can see, like She's, she's been using this, but <laughs> this is the Ocean Potion um, After Sun Lotion with Aloe. This stuff smells like Fruit Loops. If you like Fruit Loops or like Fruity Pebbles, it smells literally just like that, and I love it. <laughs> this is a tan extender, so like if you're not super burnt, but you do just want to extend that tan if you're just a little bit red, I put this on like very generously after showering and any time that I'm just feeling a little bit dry, this is perfect for that. They also have this huge bottle in aloe. That's the aloe that I always choose to use. And they also have this big bottle in a gradual tanning lotion or something like that. I usually use the hemp lotion as you probably saw from my self tan video, but I will say that the ocean potion is super, super good too. So I definitely wanted to mention that. All right. So guys, that is my quick video. That's pretty much it for today. If you have any interest in any of the sunscreens or after suns that I've mentioned in this video, I am going to have it all linked down below for you. That being said, the beaches are open. Get yourself down there and take all these products with you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks again so much for watching A Little About LV.